Hey everyone, it's me. So today I'm going to be doing my September favorites and I'm actually a little bit behind on doing a favorites video. I actually hadn't done one in a while. Um, it was just something that, I don't know, I just kind of stopped doing for some odd reason. But anyway, um, I didn't do too many, um, too many favorites videos, but I'm going to start back doing those too, I guess. So first all, um, first off, I'm going to talk about beauty and then I'm going to go into some other things that I really love. Um, of course, I'm going to go ahead and say this now and get it out of the way. Jewel Mint, the pieces of Jewel Mint for the month of um, October are spectacular. So if you have not checked them out, guys, go by and check out Jewel Mint. They have some really lovely pieces. Again, um, it's $29.99 a month. It's the membership fee. And you have to pick out one piece of jewelry a month. And then they charge you the $29.99. You do need a credit card to um, use Jewel Mint, so it's just a little something for you to keep in mind. Um, you could probably use a prepaid Visa card or something like that um, if you're under 18, and just make sure you get your parents' permission, you know, with whenever using credit cards or whatever. So um, I have my baby with me today. I've got BB with me, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is hair care, and so for hair care, as you guys know. I love Wynn, I've raved about Wynn, and I actually have a review on Wynn. If you don't know what it is, it's by Chas Dean. That is Wynn. The one that I tend to use is the Fig, and this is in, um, yeah, it's, it's Fig. This is the one that it's in. It comes in Sweet Almond Mint and a bunch of different other ones. Sweet Almond Mint is the one that's really popular known. I like this one because I have color treated hair, so it's really good for that. Um, it puts the nutrients back in. This is my favorite product, and this is the one that I use for actually for travel. But I just wanted to show you guys that yes, I use Win. Yes, I still use Win, and Win really has helped my hair. My hair is a lot longer. Um, the texture is better. Like I said, I can wash my hair and just go. Um, Win really has worked for me, especially when I was pregnant. I didn't have a lot of time to you know to wash my hair and you know and, and do all the normal steps that I would normally do. Win is like a one step care thing. So yes, Win is one of my favorites. The next thing that I have is a favorite. I don't have too many makeup favorites this month, but I have enough. Um, is the Mally Volumizing Mascara. Love this product. Very good. Definitely makes you look like you have on false lashes, even if you don't. So that's one good thing about this. Um, um, you can get this from MallyBeauty.com or you can get it at QVC. Um, and it's, again, it's under Mally Beauty. So, that's what it looks like. Okay, the next thing I have, since we're talking about eyes, is my eyeshadow. Now, I love Mally's eyeshadow sticks. They are wonderful, guys, because you can just draw on, you know, you can just draw, um, like you're coloring in, basically, with a crayon. And so that's really easy and really simple, but on the morning side, I do have a lot more time. I like using my flip that I got from Sephora, and I think they have a new flip out with some different colors in it, but this is the one that I actually got during the summer, and I'm not sure if I've done a review on it or not. I think I did, but this one has really pretty colors, and I think these colors would be great for fall this year. So this is one that I'm really happy about. Um, it has a nice matte brown in there, and it has some of the shimmery colors in there as well. All together, it's just a really nice color, color for fall. So. This is one that I am very happy about. Ooh, excuse you, Booker. Excuse you. Okay. The next thing I'm going to talk about is um, even during the winter time, you want to have like a healthy, natural glow with you. And so basically, I've changed. I was using like the Clinique Glow something that they had. And then I decided to change it. And so now I'm using the Maui. And this is um, her Face Defender Highlighter. This came in the Today Special Value, and I told you guys that that whole special value was definitely worth it. Um, if you did not, if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, I have a video on that as well. So you can go by and check that out so you will know. I believe that these bags still might, she still might have some of the bags. I just think you're going to be paying just a little bit more for them. This is what the highlighter looks like, and this, you guys, it feels so good. It's so silky. And you can just put this where you want it to use it. And that's basically it. I mean, it's really easy, really simple. And this is the Face Defender one, so it does, it's going to stay on all day. Stays on until you take it off. 
And then last but not least, um, of my beauty products anyway, is the um, Mali Face Defender. And that's what it looks like. Mine is in this compact because again, this came with the today's special value. Love the Face Defender. Um, if you guys have not tried it, definitely try that. Like I said in my last video, two of products by Mali that I would try would be the Volumizer Mascara and the Face Defender if you're new to Mali. Yes, because Mommy loves it. Okay, and then next, um, I'm going to move over to my, my favorite fragrance. Um, so this month, and it's pretty much, I went ahead and just made this my signature scent because I love this so much, is Daisy by Marc Jacobs. And this is what the bottle looks like. This is the 3.4 fluid ounce bottle that I have. And I love this. It's kind of floral. It's sweet. It's just, it just has a really nice smell to it. It kind of reminds me of um, Heavenly that they used to have at Victoria's Secret. I don't know if they still have it or not. But that's exactly what it reminds me of. But then again, it's just a little bit more flowery, I guess. So I really love this. And I haven't used that much of it for it to be my signature scent. <coughs> Because I have a roller ball of it. And um, I have the lotion. So I've been using that. And I just use a perfume like when I really go out of town. Or you know go out on a date or something like that. But yes. This is my favorite. And it's Daisy by Marc Jacobs. Okay. So then I want to talk to you about my jewelry favorites. As always my heart shaped necklace. As one of my favorite things. Um, that's my signature necklace. This one is like second skin to me. I wear it all the time basically. If I'm not wearing something from Jewel Mint. Um, and so the next thing that I like. And I've been wearing a lot of. For the month of September. Is my Aztec ring. And I just love this ring here. Because it has the blue. And it has like. You okay boo boo? Hold on one second. You okay? Okay, back over here. And so this is my favorite ring. It's, like I said, it's my Aztec ring. It's blue. And it looks like it has black in it. And i got some hair on it. Okay, so. But this is the ring. And I really love this ring. I call it my Aztec ring. You can wear this ring with basically anything. Um, you can wear it with black. You can wear it with blue. You can wear it with red. You can wear it with yellow. You can wear this ring with anything. And it's just one that I love. And another thing I love about it. It's the back of the band is kind of stretchy, so it actually stretches with your finger. So you can put it on any single finger, and it still looks great. So this is like definitely a statement piece, I think, and it's really pretty, and I just love it. Okay, and the next thing is my watch that I have. This is my Michael Quartz watch. No, just joking. This is actually the watch that I told you that I got from New York and Company, but that you couldn't tell the difference between Michael Quartz and who else was it that was making one? Um, Fossil. But this is the New York and Company watch. And even now looking at it, you really can't tell the difference. Um, so this has definitely been one of my things that I've been wearing a lot of last month. This is one of my staple um, signature pieces that I always wear. And last but not least is actually something for the house. Um, it would be my salty caramel candle that I talked about from my Bath and Body Works review. And I still love this one. I thought I would only burn that one during probably like a movie night or something like that. But the smell of it and the aroma and with Halloween around, it's perfect for, um, for just burning. And so that's basically what I've been burning because it reminds me kind of the candy corn and all of that so this has really been a candle that I've been loving and sticking with and burning and I burn it in the shower and I bring it to my bedroom and I've been burning it so yeah my leaves is kind of on the back burner for right now but you know leaves is my favorite one but this was a close second from behind so so this one definitely is catching up with the leaves as much as I've burned it I actually think I've burned this one more than any candle in my house and I burned it not too long ago as well so um, there you have it guys. Those are my September favorites and I hope you like this video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Oh, and one more tip that I need to share with you guys. The Marc Jacob, this bottle that I have here. So I got mine in a gift set and I paid approximately, I think it was like 80 some dollars for this because I got the lotion and then it has a little rollerball perfume with it. Okay, so get this. I go to TJ Maxx the other day 
and something's me and BB and we're just you know got on the stroll and I'm strolling around and, and looking and something says go check out and see if they have any perfume at the perfume counter you know just kind of get an idea what what they have you know for Christmas gifts for ideas you know kind of get your ideas going so I walk over and you will not believe what I see Daisy the Mark Jacob Daisy this, this perfume right here okay and they have it in the gift box and you get the lotion and I think you get like some bath salts with it and I'm thinking like I didn't even know that it came out with bath salts so you get two bath salts and then you get the lotion and then you get the same size bottle of perfume okay so get this this is this is the real kicker the price fifty nine dollars did you hear what I just said fifty nine dollars for the complete set I paid eighty nine dollars for what I have and it was start like thirty some dollars cheaper. So, quick fact for you: if you've been looking for this scent, go to T go to your TJ Maxx and see if they have it, because chances are they might actually have it there, and you could actually save yourself a lot of money. Because I didn't even think about TJ Maxx, you know. Because sometimes when you think about stores like that, you're thinking, oh well, you know, they probably won't have my fragrance, or because it's like a newer fragrance that they probably won't have it. They had gift boxes of Marc Jacobs Daisy there. So I'm hoping and I'm praying that they're going to have the Marc Jacobs um, Daisy So Fresh. I believe that's what it is because I have a little roll bottle of that too. But I'm hoping and praying that they come out with that and they'll have some for Christmas. So that way I can go ahead and give myself an early Christmas present. So that's what I'm really hoping for. So that's your little tip for the week to save some money there. So if you've been interested in that fragrance, definitely check out your TJ Maxx and see if they have it. Okay, won't take any more of your time. Thanks, guys. Bye.